Hello everybody, welcome to Market Masterclass and on the world front on this last Monday of November we're looking at the economy of Hong Kong under the Chinese one country two systems setup. Um, it was uh, given back by the British to China in 1997 and uh, China called it uh, 150 years of shame uh, while it was under the colonial power of Britain. But as it happens, it's turned out to be one of the best uh, setups uh, worldwide. An extremely strong economy uh, with the, uh, the, the rule of law, the fiscal sovereignty, the control, the economic freedom and the whole system of government introduced by the British and linked in with the entrepreneurial spirit of the of the Chinese uh, it created a, a country which is rated as a, even today as the freest uh, place to do business in the world because of its uh, regulated controlling and systems which benefit everybody. It's a win-win-win-win situation at most levels. Um, foreign companies can have 100% ownership in the country. The GDP per capita at purchasing power parity is sixth in the world and it's even higher than the United States of America. Uh, they're hoping to gain universal suffrage by 2017 which is causing a bit of a question mark with uh, very young people looking more for democracy rather than socialism, which has created a bit of a stir currently in the country. Uh, property rights are very secure, commercial and entrepreneurial uh, regulations are extremely acceptable. Fiscal discipline, leading is a leading global business and financial center. Massive shipping, Second uh, largest tonnage ownership uh, after Greece, uh, the biggest container port uh, in the world, I believe. Uh, it has a low tax system. Uh, the financial services is uh, exemplary and, and, and respected worldwide. It's the sixth largest uh, stock exchange in the world. Uh, and it controls its own future apart from China makes insists that uh, foreign and defense policy is controlled by the mainland. Uh, it's extremely stable, it's extremely transparent and very prudent economic policy overall. And uh, the future is looking fairly bright. Uh, the the two, one country two system system is supposed to be in in situ for 50 years and then we'll see what happens after that period. Uh, in terms of unemployment it's only about 3% of the 7.3 million population there's reckoned to be a hundred thousand uh, living in what they call caged housing in, in the in the in the cities and country of, of Hong Kong. But overall uh, an example to the world a flourishing economy and thanks very much the unity of uh, the foundation systems instilled by the British and linked in with the Hong Kong Chinese who uh, took up the cudgel and created a very successful economy. Um, they said, I've heard somebody say that uh, the Hong Kong Chinese are, are very self-centered and arrogant and, um, and then somebody else said that well they learned that from the British colonial power which has turned out to be not a bad thing overall. So that's Hong Kong, uh, a tremendous example to the world and may they thrive well into the future. Hope you found that useful and interesting. Bye for now.